Hey, Teeth Lover. Welcome to today's episode where I'm having a client share her testimonial, uh, Rachel blew me away to say the least, probably more so than any client I've worked with, honestly, because, you know, Rachel came to me in January. She'd never worked out a day in her life. And so it's like, you know, being in fitness, it's kind of like, you know, all the red flags, like, is this client going to really commit and, and be serious? But she was ready. And she put the work in and she got a hell of results and I couldn't be more proud of her. She actually had to take off three months of work prior to working with me because her neck pain was so bad. So she was like, I need to do something for myself. And she signed up and she committed and she did the thing and she's a whole new woman now. So I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, so listen in to hear her story. Hey there, welcome to the Lift for Longevity podcast, where our goal is to build our strongest, healthiest body. We all deserve to feel our best, but since we only get one body, we have to make sure to protect it by moving safely and with purpose to prevent pain, injury, and surgery. I'm your host, Brianne Novias, and I'm a fit pro turned business owner and also a girl mom. I'm obsessed with educating and empowering dental pros on how to take care of their body by training efficiently and building the right muscles to prolong their career. I know you're tired of spending time working out but still dealing with annoying aches and pains, getting rid of your pain temporarily only to have it come right back just a few hours later, or feeling like you never have any energy. You wish there was a long-term solution to get rid of your pain for good. Well, I'm here to give you real life, actionable steps that you can take today to get rid of your pain, say goodbye to quick fixes, and have energy to live a life that you love. So if you're ready to get stronger, enjoy your life outside the operatory, and have longevity in your career, grab yourself a high protein snack and let's get to it. So today I'm with my client, Rachel, who has been practicing hygiene for 10 years. And Rachel came to me the very beginning of the year. She was experiencing pain. She wasn't regularly working out. And so she joined my program. So Rachel, talk to me a little bit about what you had going on before starting my program. So before I started, I would have a lot of neck and shoulder pain, upper back, like traps constantly hurting. Work seemed to make it feel worse. And I was not, I, I didn't have any um, exercise program in place. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. So I came to Brienne and she decided, you know, that would be a good fit for her program. And you even shared with me that you had taken time off work due to your neck pain. So can you just elaborate a little bit on that? Oh, so last year I ended up taking like three months off because I was having such bad pain. So that was pretty sad that I had to, you know, take off that much time, but that's what I had to do. I was having so much pain. And so was your pain primarily affecting you at work or did it affect your life outside of work as well? It was outside of work too. It was like, it wasn't just on the days that I was working. It was all the time. Hmm. So, and you talked a little bit about that you weren't working out. So yeah, you committed and you went full force and now it's been, you know, well past the three months. So talk to me about how you're feeling now. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I don't have the, I mean, I will have days where I have a little pain, but it's so much better than what, what it was. I, I just can't even imagine before I was trying to get through each day and it was just like a struggle because I'm having so much pain all the time. And after work, I would, I would just have to go lay down in bed because I, I mean, I couldn't even like help with making dinner or taking care of my daughter was even a struggle because I was having such bad pain after work even. And now you're able to actually do things after work and not have to just go yep. lay down. Yeah. So now, I mean, it's different. I have, I have more energy. I have, you know, I need to go lay down when I get home. I make dinner, you know, I play with my daughter, I get her ready for bed. I mean, my husband helps too, obviously, but mm -hmm. before, I would just be like, I have to go lay down because I am so exhausted and in pain. So yeah, it seems like you did a pretty big 180, if you will. And as far as not having to push through your day, it sounds like you're easily more able to get through your day. But what about 
you know, you talked about after work, having um, energy to play with your daughter and cook dinner. Is there anything else that you're able to do that you weren't able to do before, whether it's inside work or out of work? I mean, I just, I have more energy to do stuff. Like, I feel like, you know, I want to go for a walk after dinner and stuff. And before I'd be like, you know, I'm just, I can't, I'm worn out. I can't do it. Now I, I have more strength. So I feel like I can do more after work if I want to. Like, I don't feel like I need to just be at home. I can go and take a walk with the dog. I can actually like chase my daughter and we can, I, I can play on the floor with her and I'm not like, okay, like I need to be done doing this because I'm dying. <laughs> hmm. What about the actual implementation of like regularly working out? Can you talk a little bit about that? Because essentially you went from nothing to pretty regularly. I think you started with two days and then you went to three and you know, you've been super consistent. So I will definitely give you praise for that. But was that difficult for you or what, did you find that easy or what was that experience like? So at first, I mean, it was, it was challenging, but I, I knew I was ready to do it. So I just had to do it. And then I ended up, ended up doing three days a week. And that was, I mean, sometimes it was challenging just because of my schedule with my family and stuff, but I had time to do it. And it was a matter of, okay, well, you just need to do it Mm -hmm. and you just be motivated. So, you know, made it work. Yeah, you did a great job. And I'm so impressed with you. But I also think maybe you starting to feel a little bit better over, you know, the first few weeks probably helps motivate you. So correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Yeah, yeah. So I was feeling better. So and I also had more energy. So it wasn't as difficult to get started. You know, like my workouts and things that was you know, at first I was like, oh, I got to do this and it's really hard. And I'm still, ha- I was still having pain quite a bit. So that was also hard to kind of like push through and, you know, do everything that I needed to do. But as it went along, it became, you know, this is just what I do. This is, you know, what I'm going to do. And this, you know, just make it part of my routine and it got easier. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I love that. And, you know, we had check-in calls every week, which was awesome too. Cause I know at first, you know, we struggled with essentially lunges were, were challenging. So we skipped those for the first month. And then when I rechecked you, like you had progressed so much, like your lunges were awesome. So that was so cool just to watch you, you know, progress. And it was just four weeks really. And then so on and so forth. So yeah, super cool to watch. What would your advice be to anybody else? Or even if you could turn back time, like, would you join again? Is there anything that you would recommend to like another hygienist that's, you know, in pain and discomfort? Yeah. So I would definitely do this again. It's totally worth it. I mean, if you want to practice long-term, you need to do something for yourself. Like you need to invest in yourself and it's so easy to have somebody else there to kind of make, make a plan for you and personalize it and check in with you and, you know, give you motivation to keep doing it because, you know, you can just kind of fall back on yourself and just be like, well, I can't afford it, you know? And it's like, well, can you afford not to? Because you're just going to be in pain and you're going to have to take time off or Mm -hmm. you're quit you know, do something totally different. And I, I was at that point, I just felt like, okay, I need to do something for myself. So I invested in myself and I took the time and you just have to, if you want to practice long-term, I feel like, unless you already know, like you have to know specific way to exercise your body as a hygienist mm-hmm. or a dental professional in general, mm-hmm. because you can end up, you know, doing, making things worse you know, exercising the wrong muscles. And that's what I was afraid of. I, I was afraid that I was going to, you know, if I tried to do it on my own, that I was going to make things worse. Mm-hmm. It was just really helpful to have a guide in a sense and a men- you know, kind of someone that mentoring you in a way and showing yeah. you, okay, that's what you need to do mm-hmm. and helping when I had questions. Yeah. I love that. Because, yeah, you were ready and I'm, you know, kind of in your back pocket along the journey, whether you do have questions or you need support and accountability. But 
I love that you said, can you afford not to? Because that is just, it's so true. It is so true. Like I know people who've had surgery because they've been practicing for so many years and, you know, or people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on Cairo and new mattresses and, you know, all the things. And it's like, you know, I have a client like that. She's spent so much money and then she joined my program in just a few weeks. Like she's totally pain free. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be beneficial for you now and in the long, in the long run. So I love that you said that. Well, I'm proud of you and I hope you're proud of yourself. Cause like I said, you did so good getting your workouts in and making them a priority, not just, you know, for yourself, but for your family and your for career. So I'm just, pleased with you know everything and i hope you are too and yeah i guess we'll chat next week on our next check-in call so thank you have a good day you too bye so this is something i touched on in my podcast last week about not being able to care for your children the way that you want to right having to come home from work and just lay down because you're exhausted and having pain versus now look where rachel is she can come home and cook dinner she can walk her dog she can play with her daughter right she can do all the things that she wants to do and that you deserve to do, right? That's just normal everyday activities that you should be able to do. So I'm super proud of her. I couldn't be more excited. And, you know, if you resonate at all, or if you're interested in learning more about how to work out, to gain strength, get rid of your pain so that you can come home and have energy and play with your kids. Um, I will link my application for my lift for longevity method below. Other than that, that is all I have for you for today. Have a great week. Thank you so much for listening in today. I hope you got a takeaway from this episode. And if you did, would you be so kind to share it with another dental pro you think would benefit from it? I know you love learning and chances are that they do too. Also, I would love to connect with you on Instagram. So go ahead and head over to the Lift for Longevity podcast page or follow me at Built by Brienne. If you shoot me a message saying hello, I will personally respond because I love chatting with dental pros. Before you go, though, I want to let you know that I appreciate you and what you do, and I hope to chat soon. Until next time, stay strong.